For decades, dogs have been taught in a really forceful way. And fortunately, modern behavioral science is proving that that is just the wrong way to treat these incredible animals. But how do you discipline a dog? Surely you have to be able to tell a dog no sometimes in order to be able to direct that dog onto good behavior. I like to use discipline to guide a dog rather than instill fear. Here's my take on it. Discipline should be used to guide a dog into making the right choices. The kind of punishment that you should never use with your dogs are things like kicking your dog, poking, shouting, hitting, or restraining your dog on its back or its side in order to establish who's the boss. These techniques have been used for so many years and unfortunately they break trust between dog and owner as well as causing a dog to shut down as well as being dangerous because a lot of dogs react negatively to being punished in this way. The kind of discipline that I use are vocal interrupters to interrupt behavior, to redirect the dog from negative behavior onto positive behavior, timeouts where I remove the dog for a period of time in order to get the dog to calm down and then reintroduce the dog into a situation, or simply ignoring negative behavior. And that's basically the only kind of discipline you're ever gonna need with any dog. And it doesn't matter if it's the smallest puppy or the largest Great Dane. And it doesn't matter what kind of behavior, if you're just doing regular compliance training or you're teaching the red zone dogs. There's a huge misconception out there that everything the dog does is a dog's desire to dominate, especially if it's behaving badly. And the dog is trying to get one up on the owner, trying to be alpha, trying to be the boss. The trouble is, is that dogs are not out to achieve world domination. Dogs are just trying to cope in the domestic environments they live in. And it's up to you as the owner to teach them how to cope. You might have seen one form of discipline that's really, really destructive and people think it works because that's what they're told and it's known as the alpha role. The alpha role is when a dog is misbehaved and you lie a dog on its side and you strain it on its side or in its back until it submits to you, until it calms down. Even though it looks like the dog has calmed down, actually what's happening is that the dog is shutting down. And shutdown is an instinctive survival tool that the dog uses to get the threat to move away. So for example, your dog has done something that you don't like. You've been taught to restrain that dog by putting the dog on its side and standing over it and restraining it until it calms down. In fact, what's happening in your dog's brain and body is that the levels of cortisol, which is the stress hormone in your dog's body, goes right up, even though it looks like the dog has calmed down. And then when that stress level is high, the dog shuts down. It basically ceases to learn. It ceases to do anything. What the dog is hoping is that if it's still, that you will release it, that you will get up, that the threat will go away. So what effectively have you taught the dog by punishing it, by holding it on its side, restraining it in this manner? You've shown that you are the violent one, you've shown that you're the bully, and you've also created more stress in your dog that might have been insecure in the first place. When you use discipline, use it wisely. Use discipline to guide your dog into making the right choices rather than causing your dog to fear you.